So this is our end goal. Okay, so we start out by selecting the cube and pressing X to delete it. Then we can check from the top by pressing the Z and then press Shift A, Mesh and Circle. We can zoom in. And then we press Tab to enter Edit Mode and then E to extrude and S to extrude in inwards like this. And the wider you make this um, ring, the less blades you will need to have. So we can go somewhere here. Great. And we can press number three to only select faces. So we select this face and we press down control and we select this face. And we press shift D to duplicate this. Right click. And then we press P to separate the selection like that. And we get a new part. So we can exit edit mode by pressing tab and we have this uh, part now and we can double click and rename it blade. Great. We can uh, now hide the circle. So we have the blade and I want the origin point, this little yellow dot here to be here instead so we can rotate around this point. So let's press tab to enter edit mode again. Let's press number three to only select faces, select this one and press shift S and cursor to selected. So that now the free cursor is here and we can press tab to exit edit mode and then right click set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now the dot is here, but I actually want to move back the 3D cursor to this point. And the easiest way to do this is just to press shift C. Great, and it's just zoomed out as well. Now I want to duplicate this blade so I have many blades and uh, what we also want to do is not just to press shift D to make a duplicate of this, but we want to press alt D to make a linked copy of this. So if I change this blade, all of the other uh, blades will change as well. So let's select this blade and press alt D and we want to rotate it. So let's press R and right now we're just rotating around the origin point. We don't want that. So let's press control Z. So we have the blade selected again and we want to rotate around this point. So let's change it up here by changing this to 3D cursor. And now if I press R is to test it, we rotate around this point. Great. This is what we want. And I want to have 10 blades. So if we divide 360 degrees by 10, it gives us 36. So let's just select the blade, press Alt D to duplicate it, then R to rotate it and press 36. And let's just do this until we have 10 blades. Okay, so now we have all our blade, blade, and then up to nine. Great. So if we now select all of these and press R, we just rotate around this point. We don't want it. We can change it up here by choosing individual origins instead. And if you now press R, we rotate it as we want to. Great. But I don't want to select all of the blades every time I want to um, change the size of the hole there. So a better way to do this is to add an empty here. So let's press Shift A and go down to empty plane axis. Great. And we select this blade and let's add a constraint and let's choose a copy rotation. And we want the target to be this empty and we want the mix to be add instead and the target to world space and on the local space. So if you now rotate this empty, it works as we want to. But I want this to affect all of the blades and the easiest way to solve this is to Select this blade and then hold down shift and left click down here. And now while we are in this constraint menu, let's press down this arrow and choose copy to select it. And now all of them are connected. So if we now rotate the empty, it works. Great, but we still need to fix some stuff. Let's press comma to zoom in. Right now all of the blades are colliding and they have no thickness. So I want to select the blade, the first blade, and then go to modifiers and let's add a solidify modifier. And I want the offset to be positive. And I think, yeah, I think this thickness will do, but I want all of the blades to have the same thickness. So let's do as before, press down shift, left click, and then this arrow down and copy to select it. And now all of the blades have the same thickness. Great. Uh, and if you now select the empty again and rotate it, we can see that we have some issues here. 
And this is because if we press N, we can see that we can rotate in all of the axes. We don't want that. So let's lock X and Y. And if we rotate it now, great. We can only rotate in Z, but we can go uh, too much and too little. So we want to change this. Let's start out by making it closed. So, okay, so let's say 46 degrees. Yeah, it seemed to look good. Let's go down to constraints again and add a limit rotation. Press Z and we want the max value to be 46. Great. And if you now try to rotate this, we cannot over or under rotate it. It's just as we want it to be. Great. But if we close this, we can see this doesn't look good. So we need to change this. So let's select the blade and press tab to enter edit mode. Press A to select everything. And I wanted to rotate this a little bit. So let's press R and then Y to so only rotate it in Y axis and maybe three degrees. Let's check it. Yeah, we can see some of the sides of the blades and this is what I want. Great. So now I want to bring back the ring and maybe let's make a collection of all the blades, clean this area up a little bit. So blade and press down shift, left click and then press M. Make a new collection. Let's call it Great. So let's show the ring again. Select it. Let's go to uh, modifiers. Let's add the solidify modifier to this as well. And let's bring it up like that. Great. And right now I can see that it's poking out here. We don't want that. So let's open up blades again. Select the first blade. And as I said before, if we change this one, all of the other blades will change as well. So let's press tab one for only work with vertices and then GG to slide it up like that. Great. And then you select the empty. We can drag it up to be set to grab. And if we rotate it, it works as we want to. And the last thing I want to do is to add some materials. So let's open up the blades again, select the blade, go down to materials, add a new, and just make it metallic. Let's change the shading mode. And we can select the ring make a new material for this as well. I want it to be darker and metallic. Great. And we are done. And if you like stuff like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.